Welcome to this tutorial on Turbulence Modeling in OpenFOAM. In this tutorial, we will learn how to set up the block mesh dict dictionary for a given y plus value, implement k omega and k omega SST turbulence models, run the simulation. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux Mint OS version 18.3, OpenFOAM version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, Gedit text editor. However, you may use any other text editor of your choice. The steps explained in this tutorial are identical in Ubuntu Linux OS. As a prerequisite, you should have basic knowledge of geometric progression. You should be familiar with simulating a turbulent flow through a channel. And you should also be familiar with multi-block meshing of 2D geometry. If not, please go through the prerequisite OpenFOAM tutorial on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. We will use the Simple Foam Solver to simulate this problem. Simple Foam is a steady state solver for incompressible turbulent flow. The diagram shows a 2D channel of length 65 meters and width 1 meter. The kinematic viscosity is 1 e to the power minus 5 meter square per second. The inlet velocity is 20 meters per second. Outlet pressure is set to zero atmosphere. Reynolds number is 2 million. The flow is turbulent. First, we will use K epsilon turbulence model to simulate this case. Let us set up the case. Download the k-epsilon folder provided in the code files link and extract it. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys. Here onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command in the terminal. Open the run directory by typing this command. Copy the downloaded file into the run directory. To do that, type the following command. I have downloaded the file into the downloads directory. Please change the command according to the file path on your machine. Navigate to the kepsilon directory. Open the block mesh dict file in a text editor. Scroll down to the keyword blocks. The domain has two equal sized blocks. For each block, the cell number is set to 75 in the x direction and 30 in the y direction. Let yp be the distance between the wall and the nearest cell center. For our case, yp is 0.0031 for y plus value of 200. For channel flow, the skin friction coefficient cf is given by this formula. The width of the cell near the wall is 0 0.0062. The expansion ratio is the ratio of the last cell width to the first cell width. It is calculated using geometric progression formula. Please refer to the additional reading material for more details. The expansion ratio in the positive y direction is found to be 5.57 for block 1 and 0 0.18 for block 2 for a block of width 0 0.5 meters and cell number 30. Please refer to the additional reading material on this tutorial page for details. I have already put these values into the block mesh dict file. 
Simple grading describes the uniform expansion ratio in x, y, and z directions. For our case, the expansion ratio in the y direction is 5.57 for block 1, 0 0.18 for block 2. Close the block mesh dict file. The case is now ready to be run. On the terminal, type block mesh to mesh the geometry. Then type simple foam in the terminal to run the simulation. The simulation will take some time depending on your computer's hardware. The simulation is complete. Let's check the final value of Y+. Plus. Now, type the following command on the terminal to get the Y plus value on the walls. We can see that the Y plus value stays below 300. Let us go back to the run directory using the cd command. Let us simulate the same problem using the k omega turbulence model now. k omega is a two equation model. It solves the turbulence kinetic energy transport equation and the specific turbulent dissipation rate transport equation. Let's look at the boundary and initial conditions for omega. We will use turbulent mixing length frequency inlet. It calculates omega using kappa and user specified mixing length. Mixing length refers to the turbulent length scale. Kappa value is automatically put in by the solver. Here, the value of turbulent length scale is 0 0.07 meters. The specific turbulent dissipation rate value is 16.67 second inverse, where empirical constant CMU is equal to 0 0.09. Wall boundary condition is set to omega wall function. Zero gradient boundary condition is imposed at the outlet. Please refer to the additional reading material on this tutorial page for details. Download the K-Omega folder provided in the code files link and extract it. Copy the downloaded file into run directory. To do that, type the following command in the terminal. Navigate to the K-Omega directory using the cd command. Let's take a look at the specific turbulent dissipation rate file. Open the omega file in a text editor. The internal field value is initialized as 16.67. The inlet boundary type is set to turbulent mixing length frequency inlet. The keyword mixing length represents the turbulent length scale and is set to 0 0.07. We have passed the internal field value to the patch field value. The outlet patch type is set to zero gradient. The wall patch type is set to omega wall function. Close the omega file. Open the turbulence properties file in a text editor. K omega is selected as the RAS model. Note O is capitalized here. Ensure the keyword turbulence is set to on. Close the turbulence properties file. The case is now ready to be run. On the terminal, type block mesh to mesh the geometry. Now, type the following command to run the case. The simulation is over. Let us go back to the run directory using the cd command. Now let's run the same case with the k-omega sst turbulence model. The k-omega sst turbulence model is a hybrid model. 
in the near wall region k omega sst uses the k omega turbulence model in the region away from the wall it switches to the k epsilon turbulence model please refer to the additional reading material on this tutorial page for details download the k omega sst folder provided in the code files link and extract it copy the downloaded file into the run directory to do that type the following command in the terminal navigate to the k omega sst directory using the cd command k omega and k omega sst models use the same turbulence variables hence the files in the zero directory are the same open the turbulence properties file in a text editor ras model field entry is set to k omega sst note o and sst are capitalized here close the turbulence properties file open fv schemes dictionary in a text editor scroll down to the end of the document wall dist sub dictionary is included in the fv schemes dictionary this enables the calculation of the distance between the cell center and the nearest wall close the fv schemes file the setup is now ready let us run the simulation mesh the geometry using the block mesh command on the terminal type simple form in the terminal the simulation is finished successfully the slide shows the exit velocity profile for all three turbulence models with this we have come to the end of the tutorial let's summarize in this tutorial we have learned to set up the block mesh dict file for a given y plus value implement k omega and k omega sst turbulence models run the simulation as an assignment repeat the simulation for a y plus value of 250 using k epsilon model repeat the simulation for a velocity of 40 meters per second using k omega and k omega sst models the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates please contact us please post your timed queries in this forum do you have any general or technical questions please visit the forum given in the link the FOSSI team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using OpenFOAM. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Padmini and this is Sveta Sridhar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.